Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how to create a distribution groups and add members to the distribution groups by using PowerShell in your Office 365 portal and also how to add contacts on Office 365 portal. So all of this we are going to do with the using of PowerShell. Sometimes we need to create a lots of distribution groups and, and add numerous amount of uh, members to the distribution groups and manually uh, doing it through the portal it can be very hectic so by using powershell you can easily create uh, hundreds of groups and add uh, hundreds of members thousands of members on this group very easily so first we are going to show how to create a distribution group and this is our powershell command to do create the distribution group first you need to uh, create the csv csv file for uh, to create this distribution group and here is the format so in this csv file there are four columns so one is the name of the distribution group in my case it is all group 1 all group 2 and all group 3 you can uh, give it uh, as, as per your uh, requirement here is the alias also the primary email address so primary email I'm giving to my uh, email you, you can use your domain name in here domain email and also specify the type of your group as we are using the distribution group so this is this type must be distribution so this is our CSV file it's ready so now we are going to connect with PowerShell run as administrator connect with with exchange online give your admin address give the password So first I can see uh, in my active groups and distribution list there is no groups in here. So my target is to create the three groups name all group 1, all group 2 and all group 3. So I am connected with the PowerShell. Now we are going to run this command. Copy the command. Paste it in PowerShell. Hit on enter. So it create all group 1, all group 2 and all group 3. Uh, let's check it in our portal. Refresh it. It is yeah, coming all group 1, all group 2. Uh, yes, all group 3. So all the three groups distribution list have been created. So let's check it out. There is no members actually, zero member as expected. So we create the groups by using the PowerShell command. So the first one is done, creating the distribution group. And, and in this CSV file, if you add uh, the more groups and run the same command, it will create all the groups in here. So the first one is done. Now we're going to add members to that distribution group. So to add the members to the distribution group, here is another CSV file. So it is a new group member. So I'm going to open that file. And see here is an identity and members. So identity is my uh, group name. So in my all group one, it is uh, this user that I need to uh, add. It's all group two. It, it will be my test two user and all group three it is my test three user and also I can add two um, multiple number of members uh, in the same group so let's say in all group one it should be contained user test one and test two and and all, all group two and three will just uh, contain test two and test three user so let's just save it close it down now yeah. copy that command run it powershell hit on enter
yeah uh, let's not check it from our portal so in all group one let's remember we have you know uh, giving two members let's say the two members added or not uh, still now members show zero okay test one and test two see so already two users are added So see the two members are added in all group one. Let's check out our all group two. There should be one user, the test two user. And let's check the all group three. There should be one user and that is test three user. So as you can see by using this CSV file, you can add multiple users in, uh, in one group. And you can at the same time, if you have uh, more than one groups and, and, and you can specify the users and then uh, just use uh, the user and, and uh, tag with their group name and it will be added by this command. So the distribution group creation and the member add is done. Now third one I'm going to show how to add contacts in Office 365 portal. So to do, the, uh, so to do that, we need to create another CSV file. This is our external contacts CSV file. In here, there is the name. So you give the name, display name, and external email addresses. So as you can see, those email addresses are not on my domain mail. So it's an external email. So let's uh, cop uh, copy the command and run it to the PowerShell. Okay. Okay. I have already a member <coughs> this uh, contacts with name Romel. So other than that, let's check out uh, context is added or not. Okay. Yeah, it's all test and test. This user already added. Uh, the Romel user is not added. I can uh, give you the explanation because I already have an email ID with that name. So it cannot be added. So let's try out some other name. We can uh, delete this, this contact or we can change this con name. Let's say it's not this one, it is uh, test 2. Let's say test 3, test 4, and give uh, another address like abc at the rate of gmail.com. 1, 2, 3 at the rate of yahoo.com so save it out and then run the command again okay already lots of uh, name with the taste yeah but it's working let's say It's already added the test two yeah test three is added uh, you have to give the unique name uh, in that case so all the three command has been working uh, you can use this command and use the CSV file to create the distribution groups and the distribution add the members to this distribution group and add contacts to office portal very easily especially this two features